What's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jamari G, and today we're doing the DC3 box on Vone Hub. Let's get into it. Alright, so looking at the description of the box, it says DC3 is another purposely built vulnerable lab with the intent of gaining experience in the world of penetration testing. As with other previous DC releases, this box is built for beginners in mind. Although this time around, there's only one flag, one entry point, and no clues at all. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start the recon off. There we go. Go ahead and call this uh, recon.sh, actually. There we go. Yeah, recon.sh. Call this DC3. IP address 192.168.0.32. So the tool I'm using will be linked in my GitHub down below. All it does is automate the recon, going through inmap scan, inmap vuln, Nikito, Fuff, all those good things just to automate that out right there. And then so we see back over inmap scan, we have port 80 open for HTTP. That's awesome. We have Joomla, that's a CMS. So let's go ahead and note that CMS down right now. Call us Joomla CMS. Note that for later. And this in that bone scan is probably going to take too long for this video. So what I'm going to do is use Joomla scan because we are using the Joomla application. So Joom scan is going to be way faster. So I'm going to go ahead and start that up. I'll go Joom scan. Make sure I know how to do that right there. Yeah, Joom scan. All we need is dash U and we'll go HTTP slash slash 192.168.0.32. And it's going to fire off for us really fast. So we see we have Joomla scan going off. We have firewall, no firewall detected. We have a service version 3.7, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and note that down. Pass that to search point later on. 3.7 right there. Go back and see so we have uh, targets, no cores, vulnerable. We have some directory enumeration already going on of administrators, administrator components, administrator modules, and so on. We see we have an admin page already found, no robots.txt page found, no backup files, no error log has been found. So June's game is pretty awesome when went through and did its thing. Let's go ahead and search exploit. Joomla 3.7, see what's on there. So there definitely are some stuff out there for Joomla scan. I mean, Joomla, Joomla. So let's go ahead and go to the internet. There we go. We'll go Joom, Joomla 3.7 and we'll go exploits. There we go. So we see right here exploits. First thing that sticks out to us is we do have some stuff for exploit DB. So let's go ahead and look at what exploit DB has. So let's talk about looking at this. This is a weird one. So it's saying the proof of concepts right here with description right here. SQL injection as noted within our search exploit stuff. So let's go back and look and see what's in other stuff. So we see we have a GitHub right here. So this is perfect. Someone's already built a pre-compiled Python script to actually go through and exploit this. We're clicking right here, we call it Joomla.py. We're gonna go ahead and copy that right there. Copy it right, make sure. Copy all that, there we go. Control C. We're gonna go ahead and go in here. I'm gonna go ahead and stop my bone scan just cause I don't need it right now. So we'll go ahead and sublime, we'll call it Joomla. There we go, .py just like they did. Copy and paste that, save that right there, perfect. Let's go ahead and start that off, Python. Joomla, there we go. And the URL 192.168.0.32. There we go. That's not how you enter the URL. So let's go ahead and see how you enter the URL of this application. Python.h. Oh, yeah. Python Joomla and then dash h. There we go. Perfect. So we need to enter the URL like a normal URL. So I gotta go Python Joomla and then we'll go HTTP slash last 192.168.0.32 perfect and now it's actually working through it's going through so we see we have found users we have 629 admin as a username admin as another username we have admin and then we have a password right here this is a bcrypted password so you're definitely gonna have to crack that i'll go ahead and save that right now control there we go control shift c sublime we'll call this hash go ahead and save that there we go now we're gonna use hashcat to crack this because hashcat's really fast faster than john ripper most times we'll scans we'll go hash cat there we go actually i don't want that one right there we want this one right here for bcrypt stuff copy that right there copy it right actually copy that right there control shift v and so it's actually not going to work on my machine because i went through and actually cracked this hash of four so as you can see i can't actually see what the password is but in order to see that i'm going to go to hash cat's pop file which the pop file is a collection of all the hashes that you've already cracked which is pretty awesome pretty cool so we can go over here right here there we go control shift c control c there we go we're just going to ls like that there we go and so now we see right here this bcrypted password is right here and we have snoopy as the actual password that it is so the username is going to be admin and snoopy to log into the actual application so note that right now admin snoopy we'll call that joomla login there we go say that in credentials and let's go ahead and log in 192.168.0 there we go but we're actually going to be logging to the administrator panel instead of just the normal there we go into the wrong ip address actually 
<laughs> there we go. One under two, that one sixty. There we go. That thirty two. Ah, oh. entering the wrong commands right now. There we go. Okay. So now we're logging to the administrator portal. Log it in. So now it's gonna be admin. Call that, and then we'll call this Snoopy down here. Log in. Perfect. So now we're logged into the Joomla application. So now we got to get a reverse shell on this application. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and start my reverse shell in the background already just so that it's going. NC LVMP 333 port 333. I just use that just because that's the port that I've just been using for forever. There's no real reason why I use it. So there we go. We'll go down to templates right here. We'll go to templates again. And then we'll go to BZ3. <laughs> And then we'll come down here. I'll just go to index.php. You can go to any.php extension. I can go to error, JSTRING, components. It doesn't matter which one you go to, just as long as it says .php so you can get your reverse shell triggered. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all that right there. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually come back here, go over here, cd into my downloads real quick, R shells, and then ls. There we go. So this is just a collection of reverse shells that I've downloaded from Pintest Monkey. They're a really good resource for reverse shells. They're out there, just go look them up, it's awesome. Sublime R shell. There we go. Copy this reverse shell that I took from Pintest Monkey. Paste this over here. There we go. So, yeah, now, now the reverse shell is in there. I'm just going to click save up here. Save that reverse shell. So, now I'm going to go and navigate to the actual reverse shell to trigger it. 192.168.0.32 slash templates. And then we'll go slash. Oh, didn't enter right. Almost entered the wrong again. Dot. There we go. And yeah, see dot templates slash bz3 index.php. And we can see that it's still loading up here in the address bar. That means our reverse shell has been caught. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and look at the reverse shell. So yeah, boom, we have a reverse shell right here. Call this reverse shell, just so I know for later, because I need to switch back with tabs. Reverse shell save right there. Let's go ahead and upgrade this to privilege TTY shell. We're gonna come over here, go scans, go TTY. There we go. Python the bash. Yes, sir. There we go. Control Shift V. There we go. We're gonna Control Z to background that. STTY raw echo just so we can have things there we go and fg and i just entered fg but you can't see that but now i can enter ls la and what this does for me is actually allowing me to do like things like tab auto complete if i press control c it won't cancel out of my session which is awesome so that just makes it easier privilege to watch show always amazing to have so first thing we're going to do is actually cd into our temporary right here tmp we're going to actually download this thing i'll show you one second cd pws so right there's just PWS stands for Python web server, and I have a bash um, so, bash source script called server, which allows me to just enter server, and I have a Python web server going right now. So I'm gonna download this right here. We'll go it's wget IP address of my computer. There we go. We we'll go 8000 for the port slash, and it's linexploit.sh. So now we see that it's downloaded. That's awesome. And I'm gonna chmod. There we go plus x lin exploit dot s you can see i can tab auto complete now so now it's there we go we'll go dot slash lin exploit and so now i can run it and now it's right now what i know what it's doing is showing me cves that are out there for this machine that could possibly work so scrolling up to the top we're going to see we have the service ver not service version distribution dis <laughs> distribution version which is ubuntu 16.04 that's awesome and scrolling down here i went this machine before and tried every single exploit so i know which one works that's the only way i'm able to tell you guys so fast we're going to use cve 2016 4557 so i'm going to go over here copy that right there go into there control v get that downloaded right there boom that's awesome so now with my i'm going to go over here take this from the downloads right here there we go ls so now we'll actually go ls we'll dot that bounce back a little bit ls again so now we, have, we see a 397 that's a zip we need to get so we're going to start a server again server right there oh, oh i've already got a server going in the back on this pws so that's why it's giving that error stop this server right here we'll go server again so now we have a python web server up again so next thing i'm going to do again is just go ahead and go up go up again there we go instead of taking that i'm going to take actually 39772 772.zip actually there we go there we go and so now that's download that's perfect now i'm going to unzip that actually unzip 39772 and so yeah let's it's already got the file saved there we go yes yes so now we got those so i'm going to ls-la and so now we see we have 39772 as a directory we're going to go ahead and cd into there 39772 awesome ls-la again we see this ebpf we're going to go ahead and cd into that directory cd into ebpf there we go ls-la one more time oh there we go 
so now right here we see we have ls-la we see nothing in there that's weird let's go ahead and go ls-la again okay so let's go ahead and bounce back every directory actually again bounce back ls-la so we see with the exploit.tar so we need to actually extract that so we're gonna use tar xvf and then we're gonna exploit dot okay there we go exploit there we go dot tar so now we got all the stuff that's just been exploited <laughs> exploited extracted ls-la again so now we're gonna go ahead and cd back into ebf there we go ls-la again so now we see we have hello.c compile.sh first thing we're gonna run is compile.sh we gotta make sure it's in the right permissions for us to run so we're gonna chmod it chmod plus x compile.sh boom now we're gonna do dot slash compile.sh so we can actually run it did not <laughs> did not type it in right dot slash compile there we go so now we see that's not actually working but it's throwing us a double double put c so we need to run next so what we're going to do right now is gmod plus x double mod double put actually and then we're going to do dot slash double put again there we go so now it says fuse mouse mouse point is not empty fuse if you are sure this is safe use a non-empty mount option double put system <laughs> failed that will put child quit before we get a good file so right now what it's doing is actually giving us the root shell and boom so now we do have root privileges on this machine using that exploit we can also enter who am i see that we're root again we can see the root right there so now all we got to do is go ls slash root we see the flag is right there cat that flag out right there root slash the flag and then boom that machine is done big shout out to dcau7 this machine was awesome love the dc series and if you like this video go ahead and like the video subscribe turn on post notifications so you can be alerted when the next video drops comment down below anything that i could have done better anything that you liked this video that's all i got to say for you guys have a good day bye bye